Here on my rooftop, 
I'm working on the strawberries. I'm doing an experiment. I'm seeing how well they do being allowed to grow mainly as they do in the wild, networked. The runners come from the mother plants, which is this one that was fruiting alongside these. And then they make saplings on the runners and then they anchor themselves to the ground. But I do them, I help them along by using wire staples and putting them in the, the pots. I have this one to put in this pot. And I will do that with you today as well. We're going to repot this white crepe myrtle. It's in a smaller pot. I'm going to put it in these five gallon jugs. And this is the ice cream bean plant that I planted months ago. It's growing nicely, but now it needs more root space. Another exotic that I collected. The skellions or green onions are growing very fast, very rapidly. You now in this weather, as long as they have water, and we've been getting a little bit of rain since the other day. Got my desert rose. It's not fully in bloom right now. It the other day it was prettier. And it's coming back up now because see it has a lot of new blooms coming up this is my favorite flowering plant of all the desert rose and there are different varieties green chayote that i need to put down on the trellis the white chayote or chocho is producing a lot now and i'm picking off it more green onions sunflower see this one has space and has its own pot and um it's doing so nicely and look at these that are planted the same time and they're still in the, the seedling pots i need to take them out but you know me always doing so much at once so let's get to potting the ice cream bean and the crepe myrtle. I need to get the pink one. I have the pink one where I grew up and I tried to culture it before and um, it grew and then it died. And this one I got from a friend's yard. I took took off two, two branches and this is the white to it very brilliant plant and very resilient it can do well in dry atmosphere it can survive a drought it's very resilient this one is the white and I need to culture the pink as well in the top garden Pak Choi is ready and I'm planting out some Callaloo plants that I have growing up as well because I did sow Callaloo plants through the bed as well when I sow the Pak Choi. Some of this will be sold, some will be eaten. And some will be given away to friends and family. Some of these colorful plants are getting too big already, so they'll stay in the bed. So I made some potting soil already since morning. This is two of those buckets of sifted dirt soil to a quarter inch, to a quarter inch wire, and um, one of the same bucket of horse manure sifted as well and one third of the bucket of chicken manure so now i'm going to fill the bucket again and go up on the roof where we're going to pot the plants <laughs>
ice cream being in this pot. So first I pour a little bit of that in the bottom. About two years, I estimate that the dirt in this pot will reach there's a Mexican bell plant growing in there as well not this pot to get the dirt loose get the soil loose from the pot and I'll try to get everything out Depending on the soil, you can't make it too wet or too dry to do this. Or the soil will break apart. Like I said, depending on the texture of the soil. The soil will break apart easily when it's wet. Some will stay together more when it's wet. And then I'll put this in there and fill it around the side with the and I'll do the same with the June rose as well I guess they call it June rose because it blooms about that time I'm not sure I'm just assuming it's a little too much dirt in this spot but Okay, so this is all right again for another year. Nutrients and all. And now I'll do the same for the jewel rose. And it also has a candle plant growing in there. Blue purple. Let's get some more soil. Staple. Put in the middle. The staple around it. And secure it into the pot. Sometimes I'll put two plants in one pot as well. To remove the one on the side of the staple. I can't work. So we'll fill it around with that. Now I'll 
please use water. Ice cream bean plant seems like maybe crickets bit the leaves, but it's not so bad, it's still healthy. As you know, I do things natural, I don't use pesticides. Natural pesticides like neem, neem oil, even pepper, pepper water for different purposes. A lot of different natural pesticides that will deter pests and keep them off your plants. Small strawberry here. Pick. Wash it and eat it up. So, folks, your boy Big Kid saying peace and love, happy gardening, and stay safe. See you later.